All right, guys, so I want to bring you an update of what I got going on today. It is an absolute mess in here. I got like 16 different things going on. I'm building my manifold for the tank. Um, I got two different ones right now because I was just going to put them all together like this and just run everything off of one pump. But I'm thinking I'm going to run all of the tanks off of one manifold and then all of my accessories off of another manifold and pump. Like this will be the tanks, obviously, and then this manifold will be like the protein skimmer. Uh, the chiller and reactors so I think that's the route I'm gonna go unless I end up getting a reflow pump again then I'll probably just put the two manifolds together and run everything right off the reflow pump but um, that's to be determined I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do for a pump right now I'm in the air with so many different things but the primary thing I want to show you in this video I'm so excited about <laughs> you can see this is what I gotta wear for you guys um, I just finished up though the water station um, and I'm super stoked like this has probably got to be one of the most intricate plumbing jobs I've ever done inside of this hobby and sometimes there's just things that you got to be proud of yourself of in this hobby and this is definitely one of them I'm, every time I look at it I'm just like wow <laughs> so anyways um, as you guys know I showed you in the last video um, we got the 65 gallon tank here ball valve to isolate the tank with a union so I can remove the tank to clean it um, goes down under here goes into the T so I can fill up with RODI water for whatever I want to use I finally got the ball valve put in here so I can fill up the 35 gallon tank I strapped everything with plumber strap so everything's nice and secure it's not going to go anywhere um, I drilled th uh, two holes into the top of the 35 gallon tank so um, I could put those pipes in the, it's a really 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 tight fit I mean those those pipes are real hard to push through the remainder of the hole that was there um, and then, uh, yeah, so this ball valve will control actually filling the lower tank, the 35-gallon tank, with roadie water. And then uh, we have the next set of plumbing things here is uh, the 35-gallon tank. I have a ball valve to isolate the tank again. I got a union at the pump and a union at the other end of the pump so I can remove the pump if it needs servicing. Um, I got a ball valve here so I can have salt water to whatever I need it to go to. This is going to probably, well, I'm going to use this to fill the tank back up after a water change. <laughs> excuse me this ball valve here controls the water flow the recirculation of the pump to the tank so if I just want to fill up the tank I would shut this ball valve off and open this one up and that would fill the tank up while um, it won't recycle the water at that point everything will just be coming through this pipe and if I wanted to fill and recycle um, or recirculate I would just open both of them then I would fill and recirculate um, so what I want to do right now on video is I want to fill this bad boy up and I want to start this pump up because I'm so excited. Um, there's debris inside of that tank so I'm going to probably end up putting a filter sock on the discharge of this pump on the insides just so I can start collecting that stuff so I don't have to remove the tank because that's not something I feel like doing right now. So in order to do that what I need to do is close this line and I'll just close this one too because why not. Make sure that this one's closed before I start letting the, the roadie water flow. Um, I got, so they're pretty much almost all closed right now. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's fill it up. Fuck it. So we'll open up the, uh, uh, I don't know which way I got to turn them right now. Okay. So we'll open that one up. So now we got water down to this ball valve and we'll open this one up and we'll let the tank fill. So I will time lapse this. Thirty gallons, so we'll turn this one off. And fuck it, we'll just turn that one off too. So now I want to start this pump because I want to see it run. So I'm just gonna open up the bottom one here. And I'll open up the top one. There we go. Now we'll plug in the pump. Oh my extension or the cord doesn't reach. <laughs> Dang. I gotta go get an extension cord. Dang, that sucks. All right, kind of plug strip. So, 
Moment of truth, huh? Let's see what happens. Damn. That uh, definitely looks like it's moving quite a bit of water. I want to make sure that none of these are leaking. I, I did the same thing. I got put a bunch of couplings up there. Or not a bunch. I put a coupling. That way I could get around the first pipe that's uh... That way I can get around the first pipe I put in. But I definitely see the water churning around in there pretty good. This is literally the first time I filled this up, so I guess if we get leaks, you guys are going to see it. So far, we're looking alright. Yeah, like I just got done with this a couple minutes ago. Well, when I started the video is when I finished it. Let's see what's going on in here. I will put the camera in there. As well. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna do pretty good. And I got the pipe submerged in the water, that way it doesn't splash a lot and stuff like that. I wanna see you. Strong the flow feels on this sucker. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that is definitely gonna mix water really good. That feels like a spa jet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put the lid back on so I can keep any kind of junk out. That works, uh, that works so well. I am, uh, I'm very, very, very happy with this setup right now. Um, so there it is, guys. That's how it works. And like I said, if I wanted to, uh, fill up a bucket with salt water or, uh, you know, refill the tank, just put my hose on here and open up that ball valve and that pump is going to shoot it out like a bat out of hell. So, uh, and this is just gravity roadie water um, from the tank upstairs. So, there it is guys, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm so stoked about this thing. So, there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Later on. And here's a little clip for you guys who think uh, I may not watch your videos. Whenever I'm working in the fish room, I got YouTube playing all the time and I'm watching your guys' stuff. So keep the video guys coming. Videos guys coming. Keep the videos coming, guys. <laughs> uh, because um, they're definitely entertaining for me to watch while I'm uh, doing my projects here. So, uh, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> one more look. <laughs>